We were taking fire from multiple locations. It became clear that there were more jihadists in town than anyone had expected. The major in charge of these troops thought there were snipers on top of the building opposite, so he sent some soldiers in to check. On the roof, confusion reigned as friendly fire threw us to the floor. The Malians had worked out that the jihadists weren't just in the courthouse but also in the marketplace on our right. They sprayed wild bursts of machine gun fire at them. The soldiers exchanged cigarettes while the corporal worked out what to do. Then he rang the commanding officer down below. The corporal wanted to smash the wall down with an armoured car and attack the Islamists, but his commanding officer wasn't so sure. The two men stood in the street arguing about how to fight the battle. Neither of them knew the enemy were about to make the decision for them. The jeep came to take the wounded major away. <laughs> Now the corporal was in charge, they took the fight to the Islamists. We pulled back a bit while the armoured car drove up to smash down the wall. No one wants to drive through a minefield. The armoured car driver reversed down the road to consider a more careful approach. While the vehicles considered the next step, the Malian soldiers lay down a wall of covering fire. It was a few hours into the battle now and the soldiers are beginning to run out of ammo.
The Mali is about to launch a head-on assault on the courthouse. While the jihadists were outnumbered and outgunned, they weren't giving up. The advance faltered under the enemy.